in uh, in Turkey with Saudi Arabia. Mm. How many how many tens or hundreds of thousands have been killed in Syria and in Afghanistan, in Iraq? How, the terror there is unreal, and nobody says boo. Okay, let one stand, let me stand there. One anti-Semitic journalist gets killed by the Saudis in Turkey, and the whole world, the whole world just goes bananas. You know, it, it, it's mind-boggling. How many children were killed? This one guy, who everybody's making a big deal out of, it's not nice to, to kill people, um, but he was certainly no friend of ours. He was an Islamist. But he is, he's the one that today is, uh, uh, is making the world, world turn upside down. Not the kids that were killed in, in, yeah. in Iraq and in yeah. Syria and everywhere else. The world is a strange place. Um, question. What's special about living here? I mean, why would people who, if you say that it's a dangerous vicinity on the outside, why would people want to live here? Well, you know, when uh, during the second intifada, when they were shooting at us, they shot into my house a number of times. And I brought in journalists once to see the holes in the wall where they missed two of my kids by about, I don't know, a half a meter maybe. And they said, you know, you know, why do you stay here? Um, so I would say to them sort of like cynically, um, yeah, well, we were thinking of moving to, Jer to Gilo in Jerusalem, but they're shooting in, at Gilo in South Jerusalem also. So it's too dangerous there. Um, and, and the truth is, if you talk about, you know, danger, um, the Arabs make no distinction between a Jew lives in Tel Aviv or the Jew lives in Jerusalem or Haifa or Be'er Sheva or Hebron, we're all the same. And people are marked wherever they are. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, and, and as such, um, you know, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, so to speak, uh, it doesn't matter where you are. Um, it's the, the philosophy or the most simplistic philosophy is Either, either you're here or you're not here. If you're not here, then you know who is here. If you want to be here, then you have to be here. And that goes for being in the state of Israel as opposed to living in uh, the United States um, or uh, even uh, uh, England, where today you know they're on the brink of having uh, Jeremy Corbyn be elected prime minister, and then all the Jews that are there are probably going to flock over here. Okay, because they don't want to live with the anti-Semite as prime minister, so you know they'll come over here. Uh, living in Hebron is, of course, it's very special. You're living in the first Jewish city in the land of Israel, uh, you know, and it's it's a it's a community that was destroyed, uprooted. We came back and renewed a an almost 4,000 year old community, and uh, it's a it's a huge privilege to be able to live to live here. It really is.